Sam Smith just won a Grammy Award for the hit song Unholy. And a lot of people are throwing hate at them for it, saying this decision is trash. Because recently, Sam Smith was also getting cancelled for this controversial music video that critics called satanic and evil. For showing almost naked dances and what they call soft porn. Ridiculous. Like, what the heck is this disturbing content? Porn is becoming so normalized. Well, this hate is most likely triggering some trauma for Sam Smith. Because as early as 10, the age when they came out as gay, Sam already experienced being mocked and rejected. I've always felt non-binary my whole life. The first boy Sam had a crush on said nasty and homophobic things. And throughout teenage years, Sam suffered a lot with confused and unrequited love. Late teens. I got the word alone on my arm. How embarrassing is that? And as soon as Sam started getting famous, they even had to be careful at making sure straight people could sing along to their music. Can I Sam still wasn't fully expressing their truest self, but equally frustrating as the struggle with their identity were the attacks against how they looked. I was an overweight, femme, gay person, right. and it was really, really hard. This caused Sam to be incredibly conscious of their own skin. I was just worried that my voice was going to mess up, or I was going to embarrass myself, or not be good enough for the people. Refusing to be seen in photos without a shirt on, starving for weeks to prepare for shoots, criticizing their own body, and sometimes taking down a lot of their pictures. I mean, the music industry, as you all know, is very homophobic, it's a bit sexist at times, so being feminine like this in the way that I move and dance and, and am, it feels quite scary. But as time went by, Sam found their strength to slowly come out of their shell. In one brave Instagram post, Sam posted this. And since then, the Sam Smith that everyone knew started getting braver and braver. Sam appeared in music videos looking more feminine. If you can't love yourself, how in the hell you gonna love somebody else? More daring. Caring less about what people would say. Just being femme in, in, in front of people like that is just such an amazing feeling. It was beautiful. And whether you love or hate Sam Smith or this controversial music video, I need a lover. The real mind therapy we can take away from this is that you should never be afraid to love who you are. I'm not the exception, I'm a blessing of a body to love for. And if you're ready, to fearlessly show it to the world.